Philo Farnsworth, the American inventor who pioneered television technology in the 1930s, envisioned television as an equalizer in the world, a way to bring education and wholesome entertainment to the average person free of charge. Philo began his pioneering research in Rigby, Idaho, and further developed it as an undergraduate at Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. By 1960, 90% of homes in the U.S. had TVs, and in 1969, a worldwide audience viewed the landing of Apollo 11 on the moon. But the majority of television programming was considered a vast wasteland by many, and Philo himself refused to let his own children watch it. For 40 years, television existed as a broadcast medium funded by advertisers. Programs were aired via daily schedules, which families watched together at home. However, in the 1990s, the introduction of the World Wide Web would change the television industry forever. Digital technology offered a new way to produce and distribute programs, and the World Wide Web became its superhighway. Old forms of distribution, production, and marketing disappeared as new ones came into being. Broadcast schedules were replaced by on-demand services that flooded the market with seemingly unlimited program choices, which could be viewed on phones, tablets, even watches. But into this new utopia slipped another reality, subscription fees, and most users found themselves paying for more than one. Although Philo Farnsworth died in 1971, his vision of what television could become lived on at his alma mater, Brigham Young University. In 2000, when digital streaming became available, BYU saw an opportunity to use new technologies to create and distribute a unique brand of television that would reach a worldwide audience, one that would be high quality, family friendly, and free. Without advertising dollars, it has been challenging, but today, 22 years later, their programs are drawing large audiences and winning awards. In 2021, The Chosen, a TV series on the life of Jesus Christ, drew over 350 million views in the first season, and the popular sketch comedy Studio C has logged more than 2 billion views. While other broadcast stations are watching audiences decline by as much as 20%, BYU TV's numbers have not dropped, and their streaming audience has doubled in the past three years. These numbers suggest there is a demand for what BYU TV offers, a free service featuring purposeful, engaging viewing that entertains, uplifts, and inspires, and it brings people together. Philo would be proud, very proud.